hey, hey, is anybody home today? I know, but my hair, I'm not apologizing for it. I'm just saying that I've, me and Miata had the need to drop the top today, and it is so humid in South Carolina, so there you go. <laughs> Y'all, I was just quickly whipping up a little dressing slash sauce that I might have for a, hey, hey, it's a raw vegan slaw, y'all. And I was just making that in the kitchen. I wanted to show you what it was, but I'm gonna give you a chance to hop on if anybody wants to say hey. I was just chatting over on Instagram, um, chatting it up for about an hour over there. It's up in Insta Stories, and I have one from yesterday too, and it was, a compilation of a Q&A's and chit chat for today. So I'm gonna see if anybody's home and we'll say hey and we'll take any kind of Q&A's while I show you quickly um, what dressing that was. And I'm gonna jot it down for you too. It has, um, I don't know if I can, yes, somebody say hey if you can see me. I wanna show you this dressing. and. It has, for the base of the sweetness, you know, really when you're making a dressing, it's great if you have a salty, a sweet, an acidic, and a fatty. Hey, Heather. And so this, for the sweet, has corn. Now that is organic, raw, non-GMO corn. If you don't tolerate corn well, and some people don't, then what you can do is you can add a little bit of um, a date, or you, which is very similar to most of my recipes, but the corn is what I want to show you in this. It adds a, de a denseness, a thickness, and it adds a sweetness. You can also use raw purple corn powder, which you can get on the Longevity Warehouse, which is really good. Low glycemic sweetener like that. So um, I find that if I eat too much raw corn, I don't digest it well, but when I'm putting it into a dressing super sauce to add a little bit of sweetness, it has a bam quality. So would you like to come to the kitchen? I wanna tell you that in this dressing I'm fixing to show you, we have one and a half or one approximately cups of celery. Now when I use celery in my dressings, what I'm looking for is the salty hit and I'm looking for the bulking up of that. So I usually choose the lightish parts of celery because they are salty but less pungent, okay? Especially if you don't have a super high speed blender, you will want to choose um, the lighter parts of celery. Okay, then I had um, one corn on the cob, the corn cut off the cob, non-GMO, organic corn, raw corn, okay? Then we had two tablespoons of tahini. I like Shirley Bar Living tahini. Um, <coughs> you could have used probably one tablespoon, depending on how much fat you're wanting to put in your dressing. Okay, then we had about a quarter of a cup, or a little bit less, start with a little less and add more, because I didn't measure, I just kind of eyeballed it. <coughs> Sorry apple cider vinegar, raw with the mother. Then I had a, a little bit of water in there, and I'm sorry, I did not measure because I, I just didn't think about it. You know what, we're gonna need to bring the cold word in case. Um... You wanna love? Can you hold on a sec? Hold please. We'll make it. <laughs> I'm sorry, this was just not even planned, was it? Okay. So um, anyway, I might get skating tonight, and it's it's been so rainy in South Carolina. I won't believe. I don't know what's going on with this. It's it's almost June after all, and it's not even it's just not even warm. Um, and I got a package. I got a delivery. I have to plug you in. Sorry. Okay. Appreciate the fact that I feel like I can come to y'all with this hairdo today, like because you love me anyway, right? Could you say that? So, um, here is the dress, and let me give it a little whiz again. Now, if you wanted to create more volume, you could by adding more celery in there. You could have added more corn too, but I want to think I just did. Um, can you all look? Just for your future reference, if you are making YouTube videos, do not take this thing and lick down the side of it and definitely don't suck off the end of it because just don't do it. Okay, so because they'll flag you for porn and it's it's not good. I need something to taste test with. Let's pour it up, shall we? Because I want y'all to see how good. Look how good that turned out. Still light and creamy. It's a very good consistency, do y'all see? Now, 
I've run out of dulse flakes. You can add some dulse flakes in if you want a little more salty, but I didn't find this needed. It. Also, you can stir in a little bit of this, which is Frontier brand um, garlic and herb spices. You can also stir in Cajun brand seasoning. Uh, no, Cajun seasoning by Frontier brand. Um, Mexican Fiesta, which is good too. I don't see y'all. Oh, there I do. Uh, I'm having a collar. Okay. So anyway, um, let's add a little bit of this in here. We'll just kind of eyeball it, you know. It won't take much. But you could create more volume if you wanted to. Should we have some of them? That is a rock star dressing. Um, look at look at the stickability of it. Hmm. Do y'all? Kind of hard to see with that light, isn't it? Let's see if we have a fridge. We can do a little better taste test. If all life will make it. Thanks for coming over. How do Let's try this. Hmm? Look at that. Look how good. Mmm. Do y'all want a bite? Look at that. Mmm. It's really good. Hi, Catherine. How are you, beautiful? Mmm. This is so good. You know what feels good? To feel good. You know what else feels good? To be satisfied by your food. To not feel like you are sacrificing or compromising anything. You know? Mm-hmm. That is really good. Creamy. I made that with basically eyeballing it. You know what I mean? Just eyeballing it and it turned out good. When you do that formula of salty, sweet, fatty, and acidic, it comes out good like that every time. And when you bulk it up, you really... You get a lot of volume, and that does just look, it's not compromised at all. Very creamy, do y'all see? One corn, it was about this size right here, non-GMO, organic, cut off the cob right into the blender. I had about a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar raw with the mother. If you don't eat that, you could use about one lemon, and you could either just peel it and use the pith and all because that gives you additional um, the phytonutrients and antioxidants and also bulks up the recipe. Okay, then I had two tablespoons, really it's like one and three quarters, of Shirley Bar Living raw tahini. And um, the tahini too gives it a very, a very nice flavor balance. Because you know how tahini, like unlike some other nut butters, they have a slight little bitter bite to them. And so it gives it a nice flavor balance. And the corn gave it the sweetness. I had about one and a half cups one to one and a half cup of the lightest parts of celery and a little bit of water. Put the water in there to blend. Now realize when you're making a dressing and it has tahini in there, one thing about that you need to know is that as it sits there, it'll kind of thicken. Tahini does that also with lacuma powder or purple corn powder. But this is really good. I hope you'll try it. Y'all got anything you want to say about that? I'm looking. And see, I can eat all that dressing. I really can. And still fit in my pants. All the food. You know, a lot of times, you see people on, the, on these diet foods and all this, and what's ridiculous is that it's these tiny little portions of food that couldn't fill up. My grandson 
And I'm thinking like, no, size matters, baby. You know, I don't care what people say, they're lying. The size of your food matters. You wanna be able to eat a lot of food, but what kind of food are you eating? Are you eating all of the dates and you don't understand why you still can't get a date because you can't fit in your pants? Because you're eating too many calories. You're eating 5,000 calories from dates and you're not getting a balanced nutrient a nutritional profile of all the veggies, the greens, the healthy plant fat, and a low though adequate and correctly balanced amount of plant fat. Are you doing all that? Are you having celery? Are you having celery juice to really recalibrate your guts, to really flush out acidosis in the body, to clear the pineal gland so you can think and you can get a direct download from the universe? Are you doing that? That's the question. Anyway, do y'all see the dressing? Is there anything else you want to talk about? When you're gonna do a YouTube live, you should try to fix your stuff up and maybe try to do a thing with your hair. I found people really don't care is what I think. <laughs> hmm. It does look delicious. See here, we have, like, there will always be, YouTube is my favorite place to where people come into my house and they don't want to wipe their feet. But I don't really mind because if they can't play nice while they're in here and they, they dirty up the floor, it's okay. Like, I'll just sweep when they leave. So we don't mind, right? So freeing to feel free. Free from food addiction. Free from having to think, what am I going to eat? How am I going to make, what kind of diet? What kind of quick fix? How can I get my summer bikini? You can get in your summer bikini because you can get in your bikini during any season. You know what I mean? Which is kind of great. It's freezing. Oh, it is freeing. Yes, it, yes it is. And, and too, like I've, I've been out to dinner a couple times recently in the last few weeks. Took my own dressing. One time I took avocado cut it in half. I have a lot of videos called Raw Vegan Goes Out to Eat, Raw Vegan Goes Out to Dinner, um, Overcoming Your Excuses playlist, because at the end of the day, you're going to make it happen or you're going to make an excuse, and that's on you. And at the end of the year, your results will be a direct reflection of the actions that you took. Your results, your actions, you and you. And when you stop giving away the power to everybody else and you start taking back um, your reactions to the situation being proactive instead of reactive. You know what I mean? So anyway, I'm going to go and, uh, and it's going to, maybe I can turn it on. My battery's done. Making it happen. I, if y'all didn't see my Instagram live today, we were talking about how so many times we feel like we're part of this thing or we're starting new or we're, we're in a Facebook group or we're all these different things and, and you feel like, well, that's why you could do it. No, the reason why you could do it is because you were showing up for you and then you stopped showing up for you and then you stopped getting results because you stopped doing the thing. You know what I mean? It has been raining like two weeks in South Carolina. The sun is out today, but it's so humid like it could dump down at any time. Question, is celery smoothie good too? I don't have a juicer. Celery smoothie, if I was gonna try to get the benefits from celery liquefied like that, I have a video called Celery Juice with no juicer. You can type that in on my search bar and it'll come up and I'll show you the exact measurements and everything of how to make that and you can strain it. And I have a really good strainer that I got from Walmart that fits on top of this Pyrex dish and it strains good. What you, you wanna let it kinda naturally seep through cause you're trying to, you won't really remove all the fiber. What you're trying to do is get that nutritional hit of that celery and recalibrate the hydrochloric acid in your guts and really you're still gonna have some fiber in there. It's a great prebiotic for your microbiome, you know? Do you got anything else? I can freeze what? Location is just an excuse. That's exactly right.
That, it, it all boils down to make an excuse or make it happen. That is all there is to it. I was talking about this morning, um, raw vegan on a budget in my group, and, um, and how you really can do it. How to buy in bulk, how to buy seasonally rotating things, how to look at a recipe and think, well, this calls for two cups of pine nuts. Well, first of all, that's so much dang fat that you got a problem right there on your hands. Also, pine nuts are usually very expensive or like um, it calls for all these dried mulberries, which is also expensive. How to accommodate with what you have, how to make it happen, versus making an excuse. And the people that I see that have really stuck to this lifestyle a long time, they're the kind of people who really, they want it bad enough. They want it bad enough to nix their excuses is what it is, you know? Let's have a song and I'm going. <laughs> I've been talking on this thing all day. Day. And I hope you know I love you to infinity and beyond. Bye.